What's up YouTube? Aaron back again with another video. We got Domination on Nuketown. You know, I'm using the CUDA, which I've been using, I think. I, I use it a lot and I switched guns to um, whatever the four round burst is. I don't know what it's called. I don't remember any of the guns. I barely even remember. The only reason I know this map name is because it's been on every freaking Call of Duty since Black Ops. Well, every Black Ops or I, I don't know. It's just been on a bunch of, it's just, I'm old. I'm tired of this map. I never liked it. I don't know, I don't know why everyone's always so hype about it, just because it's small or whatever, but, you know, that's, whatever, so, I mean, I like the CUDA, and I like the, uh, I think it's a four round burst, I thought it was three, but someone said it was four, I don't know, I like them, the only problems I ever have with them is when I get, like, a full burst on someone, like, all of the bullets go into them and they don't die, it irks me a bit, but, that's just my luck, and, you know, sometimes you can't get them, um, I guess one thing I want to talk about today is uh, it's a friendships kind of thing where uh, it's just something that I mean I've talked about it with my dad a bit like we, we get some deep conversations when I come home but like I have a, I have a lot of friends and there's multiple friends like people I started YouTube with and I still I'll do anything for these guys my friend Dustin AJ Ryan Blake Austin well two different Austins but like I would do anything for these guys and I want like I want to see all of them succeed in life and I know I know they all have the potential to succeed and they will but there's a lot of times where I see other people you know they they surround themselves with friends that aren't aren't going anywhere with in life that aren't doing their best like I I don't know how to explain it other than like if you're stuck in a place where you feel like you're not going anywhere and you're not sure why, like you're trying your best or whatever, but there's just something holding you back. And I know it sounds it sounds bad, but it could be your friends holding you back. And like that's not how it should be. Your friends shouldn't hold you back. Your friends should push you further. And that's what I like about most of my friends is they aren't, if I'm doing something, they're not gonna be like, yo, yeah, keep that up. Like, oh, come do this and instead of working on stuff that's gonna help you in life like schoolwork or whatever they you need friends that are gonna push you to be a better person and that's one thing that I mean I've been blessed with in my life and you know sometimes it's hard like you know I have days where I can't even think like oh something this is like a good thing happening in my life or you know I have days where I just feel like absolute crap about myself and stuff but I mean I, sh I really shouldn't because I've, I've been blessed with friends that will push me to be a better person and sometimes it's tough to know like yeah there may be someone that you're really good friends with but are they pushing you to be a better person are they bringing you down to like a worse level like i don't know how to i'm, I'm terrible at wording things but i hope you understand what i'm saying because you could have a super like bright future ahead of you and get caught up with the wrong people or even someone that you were good friends with that wasn't caught up in the stuff and like they were pushing you a better person and then they get caught up in the wrong things and they could bring you down and you know you could your life could be worse off because you weren't able to let that friend go or you weren't able to move past you know oh this is my friend I need to be friends with them maybe you don't maybe it's best to some people you have to cut ties with because not everyone like there's a the new Ill Mind of Hobson song where at the end it's like a Joel Osteen quote or whatever where it says uh, if you never get rid of the wrong friends you'll never meet the right ones or something like that but I mean that's what I'm kind of saying here is that if you don't get rid of friends that aren't going to push you to be a better person or push you in life or further you I know it sounds bad to be like oh I'm using my friends to get ahead in life but like it sh you're not using them they're just there and they are able to help you get ahead in life and it's not because like you're making them or because like you want them to it's just because they're good friends and that's what friends do friends help out friends don't drag you down friends don't try to get you into trouble friends don't like hey, i know you have friends like their bullshit's your bullshit kevin hart whatever but like for real and oh, look at this 17 13 i'm not doing bad but I, I always just die so much even if i get a bunch of kills i always die a crap ton 
I think this game, uh, I'm playing with uh, my friend Dustin again. He's Rise, Mr. Flex. I think we were trying to go for um, 100 kills combined. I don't know if we make it or not. I think we get close. But that's one of the things, like, I, I have a bunch of friends and I have a bunch of people I'm close with. But there's people that I have been close with that just their futures weren't. Like, I, I just didn't feel like they were really wanting anything out of life and I that's not someone that I want to be around that's not someone I want to constantly have around in my life if they don't care about life or like I mean if it's not like they don't care about a good life for themselves because that's why I, what I want to do like I'm trying to make like I mostly it's I know it sounds bad because like I want to make money yes everyone wants to make money like I want to make as much money as possible but that's not why I'm going to school for what I want. I mean, it's part of the reason that I went to the actual school I went to. But, like, I what I want to do, what really interests me in life is, like I said in the previous video, computer architecture. Like, designing processors and stuff like that. Like, that, it's so interesting to me. And the fact that I can make a lot of money doing it is awesome. And, like, not everyone finds what they want to do in life and I, I just went on a totally different tangent here because I'm talking about life and future whatever but not everyone finds what they want to do in life and you know some people find it and it's not going to make them any money but I mean if you're happy you're happy right I mean it sucks to not have money and right now I don't but some people will try to push you to be doing stuff that you don't love to do you don't want to do you're just doing it because you know maybe you can make a little more money that way i mean it's not bad if you like need to start out and you're like i need to get a little bit of money here but i i just i feel like you should do what you love and i know that's cliche like everyone says do what you love yeah and it, it doesn't always work out that way because life life sucks i mean that's for some people it doesn't and you know lucky for them but most of the time life sucks for a lot of people. Ooh, a little bit of lag there, I think. I couldn't tell. But I guess that's two points there. Have good friends, and don't be afraid to cut off bad friends, because I think that helps them out, too. I know it sounds weird. Cutting off bad friends will help them out. Help them out. But maybe if you do cut them out of your life, if you say, you know, hey, like, you're terrible, like, you're not a good influence on me, like, you're a terrible person, that sounds... Don't, don't say that. That's terrible. Um... But like, if you say, "Hey, you know, you're being, you're bad," you don't have to say anything. If you just cut them off, you don't talk to them. Like maybe they'll see, like, why won't this, why doesn't this person talk to me? And they'll ask you about it, and you can just say, "Hey, you know, you weren't. It didn't seem like you were going somewhere in life, and like I, that's not kind of the person I want to be around." And maybe it'll help change theirs, their life, or maybe they'll ask for help. Like maybe they're stuck in a situation where they need your help, and like you have to find that out. But it's still one of those things where. If, someone in your life is dragging you down and just making things worse like to where you're just things like aren't happening for you and it's because of someone else then even if you're like super good friends with them maybe it's time to you know let go of that friendship and it it does suck because I've, I've had to do it before but you you do find those friends that you know you'll do anything for oh i was hoping i could turn on this guy oh get it Oh yeah, look at this little tear I go on. And then I have to reload and cool. But yeah, so find good friends, man. <laughs> it's harder than it it's harder than it sounds. I mean every most everything's harder than it sounds. But you know, it's it's it can be done. And ooh, if I would have gotten that guy in the background, I would have been so hype. But this CUDA works out well for me. I, I like this CUDA, and I like the... I think it's like the XR2 or something like that. That's the four, three or four round burst. Um, but yeah, so... Do that. Do what you love. Do what you love. Um, I don't know why I said it like that, but I did. And I don't know. Like, I enjoy... Like, I enjoy making YouTube videos as well. That's just something I do. I know I'm probably never going to make money with it. And that's fine, because I, I don't care. Like, it's... For some reason, it's fun for me. But you see that we get—he gets 57 kills, I get 36. So we were seven off. So my brain's not working right now. I have, yeah, seven off from 100, I think. I believe if I can count correctly. Um, <laughs> add, subtract, whatever. 
but we end up winning, you know, 200 to 104, because people decided they wanted to play team deathmatch and they weren't playing domination. And that happens so much when you come up against guys that are just trying to kill and whatever. Second and third place, we couldn't get first, but maybe next time. Until, well, until next time, I'm out. See you later.